folks, I'm Ian Baker, and today we're going to go over the 2019 Keystone Bullet Crossfire 1900 RD. This is a great couples model. It's a fairly common floor plan for a lot of manufacturers, and I think Bullet did a good job on it. You have your bed up front, kitchen right here on the side, and then a big U dinette in the back with windows all the way around. So let's start here on the kitchen. You'll see they give you a two burner cooktop with the glass cover so you can use this as prep space. Obviously you pop that up to access those burners. That glass also doubles as a backsplash. Moving in a little bit further, you'll also see they put a double bowl sink in here. A lot of these floor plans only have a single bowl. So having the double obviously makes it a lot easier to wash and rinse your dishes. Then you have the high rise faucet here too with the window right behind and a LED light right up top as well as an electrical outlet. So if you need to plug anything in like a coffee maker, you have a spot in which you can do it. Hood right up top, microwave above that, some storage up here as well. If we drop down, you actually have a lot of storage down underneath, which is great. Open both of these up so you can take a look in there. And then same thing over here, you have good storage plus you have two drawers. So that way you have a spot for your flatware as well as your other utensils, you know, knives, serving spoons, things like that. Then a little bit further over here, you have a little more space right there as well as some storage underneath. So, you know, whatever you want to put in there, I, I do like the fact that they just extended it out a little bit. Right over here is your kind of entertainment center area. So you have your multimedia unit right here. This is Bluetooth capable. You can see right here, you can control the speakers inside, outside, or right in the center is both at the same time. And right up top there are your connections for your TV if you want a TV in this unit. So in the back, this will obviously be the main hangout spot, whether it's just the two of you or if you have friends or family over. You can comfortably sit four people around here, maybe more, you know, if someone's sitting Indian style. Um, but you'll see you have electrical outlets on both sides, so you can uh, easily charge those to any devices you have. Huge windows all the way throughout, especially this big rear picture window. It's absolutely gorgeous. If you have a nice view out the back, this camper will certainly let you appreciate that. And if you do have guests and they want to stay the night, this does drop down into a bed where two adults can sleep. You'll also see right behind me over here, well actually let me tell you right here there's outside storage. That's kind of why they cut this off here. So they do give you some outside storage. We'll see that when we go out there. But right behind me here, you have versatile storage here as well. You have a hanging rod going across the top. You have some removable shelves in there. Right underneath that is your, um, your fuse panel box there as well as your breaker box. You also see AC right up above, roof mounted AC, so that way you stay nice and cool on hot days. Dometic fridge freezer combo right next door to that. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switch over. And then moving back up, we move into the bathroom. So let's take a step in here. I'll take a seat on the toilet just to kind of show you space. So as far as the legs, you know my left leg does rub a little bit here, but I have plenty of room in front. For shoulders, I'm pretty wide in the shoulders. My right shoulder does rub on the wall here, but I have plenty of room on the left. You do have a kind of a cutout here, a cubby hole. So, you know, if you want some reading material or maybe just stack some towels up there, it's a great spot for it. Uh, you, uh, underneath, you have enough room for a small trash can, which I like. You'll see the, uh, the bowl right here. You also have some countertop space over to the side, electrical outlet. Right here's your tank monitoring panel. Notice that the water heater does run off both propane and electric. You can have both of those on at the same time for faster recovery. Mirrored medicine cabinet right up top. And then over to the side here is your tub shower. Now I will stand in here just to give you a kind of a point of reference. So I'm six foot and as you can see, I'm pretty much maxing the shower out. So if you're any taller than that, you will have to bend down to use the shower. You have shelves in here and then you have the hand wand there as well, just to make showering up a little bit easier. And then we move up to the front. So right up here is your thermostat. Now this will control only the heat as the AC unit has the controls built right on it. Right over here is the bed. You have storage underneath. You can lift this up right here. See the access to the storage. So it's actually pretty good corner storage. If you wanna, you know, maybe throw like uh, some dirty clothes or something down there, get them out of the way, you can do that. For clean clothes, you have the wardrobe right here in which you can store them. You'll see underneath that, you have a nightstand right there, and if you need to plug anything in, you also have the electrical outlet right down there. You can see the, the glass kind of has a cool pattern on there too. And this is actually decent storage running the entire length of the bed. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features on the Bullet Crossfire 1900RD. Right up front, you have two 20-pound propane tanks with the cover. 
right behind that here you will see rails for your battery and over to the side you'll also see that this one has solar prep so if you want solar simply buy the portable panels plug it in right there and it'll trickle charge your battery you have a light on the front there for some added visibility and right over here you will see the sticker showing that this one has a three-year structural warranty which folks that is currently the best in the industry coming around to this side here you have pass-through storage we open that up it has a covered hinge it's also magnetic so it just stays right up there when we take a look inside you will see that, that pass-through has the same size door on the other side so any items you put in here on this side you can access from the other side and it's a pretty decent size pass-through taking a step back you will see the power awning on here you flip a switch one way to roll it out you flip it the other way to have it go right back in then you will also notice that you have two outside speakers again those are controlled by that multimedia center inside but as I mentioned that unit is Bluetooth capable right here on the back you have your spare tire now hopefully you never have to use this but in the event that you do this is probably the easiest place to get to it you don't have to crawl down on your hands and knees to access it also because you don't have a bumper to store your sewer hose in they gave you this convenient little spot right here you just unscrew there store it right inside that way it's not rolling around up front in your pass through you also see your cable inlet is right back here and if we come around to the side as I showed you kind of inside this is that extra storage right next to the u-shaped dinette so you have that big pass through up front plus this extra storage here which is awesome 30 amp detachable power cord will plug in right there and coming forward a little bit further here right here is your outside shower with both hot and cold water access and a hand wand and lastly your water inlets are right up front you'll see your city water inlet right here right in front of that is uh, your inlet to fill your fresh water tank all right folks and that wraps it up Again, this is a 2019 Bullet Crossfire 1900 RD. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.